chaotic attack. Chaotic attack. It's a very, very chaotic attack. Uh, uh, it's very chaotic attack, but but look, no uh, weapon formed against such a prosper. Amen. Amen. K K K K. So please, we know our level. Yeah, we know our level. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we are not talking about anyone in particular. Oh no, <laughs> we just level, and we love to take over. <laughs> oh, and oh yes, if wherever I, we find ourselves, we just take over. After we speak, don't after try we us. speak, they close. We'll just take over. After we, we speak, they close. Who said we'll take over? We'll take over. In a good you grow, I do. I do. In a good you grow, Jay, I'm good at it. Oh, I'm in a day, boom, boom, I hit. My Okay, Charlie, there's one guy with a Vodafone now so taking please, over. Brutal. <laughs> we have taken over. Brutal taking over. A wonderful, chaotic guy. You have one of our great friends, Vodafone. And I, look, I'm told even at, you know, serious corp- corporate meetings, you say, Charlie, this is chaotic. This is chaotic. So, Danny, serious care to Carl Ashi of Vodafone. Carl Ashi of Vodafone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And also to our friends from Standard Chat. Yes, I've got good news from Standard Chat. Of Chatter. course, mm. Kadman Dudu. Mm. Kadman Dudu is implementation team manager with Salute. transaction banking. Standard Chartered Bank Ghana, but he is the DJ Cadman. Oh, 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 oh. The oh. one and only DJ oh. Cadman. Now they do DJ for that too. Yeah. Hey, I told they got some small radio, something like that, going at Standard Chartered. Yeah. I was there yesterday in that building. Wonderful. It's, it's Doha something. something. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doha Everything FM. is beautiful. Charlie, don't try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the Sports Center is brought to you by uh, those who are taking over, those who know their level. It's also brought to you by MT and welcome to the new world. Standard Chartered Bank here for good. Epac blows your pain away. A multi TV just thrills now choosing gifts for your loved ones can be a very stressful thing to do but thanks to mtn you don't have to stress trying to figure out the perfect gift for your loved ones send the perfect gifts this season of love with mtn gift bundles and send that special someone mtn data so go on show some love with mtn data snapchat tweet retweet post stream and browse all season long with mtn gift bundles just dial star 527 hash to choose the perfect gift bundle for your loved ones from the mtn digital store and show just how much you love them we day for you everywhere you go now this is our year to live breathe and stand red through the highs and lows of the season join millions of reds around the world to show what we wear what we do and what inspires our great club and win loads of prizes. Just use your standard chartered Visa debit or credit card online or at any point of sale in and out of Ghana to win signed jerseys and an all-expense paid trip for two to Anfield. Remember, Standard Chartered is the official sponsor of Liverpool FC and we stand red with you. Liverpool FC, you will never walk alone. Standard Chartered here for good terms and conditions apply. All right, coming up at the Sports Centre, Liverpool's Champions League round of 16 tie against Bayern Munich remains finally poised after goalless draw at Anfield. The Bavarians are inside the penalty box of Liverpool. Coleman with a wonderful shot, but that was side netting. Ah. Wonderful shot from the left foot, and that could have been really, really dangerous. Yeah. Milner with, with the ball for Liverpool. Lays it out there. Robertson standing on the edge of this, and it's a long one coming in from Robertson. Oh. Lovely header, and could have really gone in. And Madon Noyes near post. Sadio Mane again, but still no goal. Ball taking again by Thiago Alcantara. It's into Nabi. Nabi will try a shot of his own. Tries not there. But of course, an excellent spelling save coming from Malaysia. 
Thomas and Beckham. Thibaut Kuring is already on the run then. Uh, Sadia Mahdi attempted to send the pass to Wijnaldum. And solid defensive block out there once again by Bayern Munich. Alexander Arnold with another good looking one again on the edge of the six yard box. Mohamed Salah arriving at the right time. A fairly to connect. And referee Gianluca Rocky call for the end of the game. It ends at Anfield. Callless. Reactions to come. We know Barcelona drew goalers as well with Leon in France. All of that to come. But first, the Parliamentary Select Committee for Sports has moved to resolve the recent impasse between the Ghana FA Normalization Committee and the Premier League clubs. Following the cancellation of the special competition, the Select Committee called for a meeting with the Normalization Committee members yesterday. Chairman of the Parliamentary Select Committee for Sports, Alexa Jakum, spoke to the media after yesterday's interaction with the NC members. We got to know that because of one or two uh, reasons that they gave they couldn't participate and so tomorrow we are meeting them on that and when we also hear this, their side of the story then a conclusion can be brought to bear on that but on that same note we asked them whether there is a window of opportunity if tomorrow we meet the Galka and the Premier League club and they now come out with a reasonable, you know, already they took an entrenched position uh, on both sides. Uh, uh, if tomorrow we meet them and they, they, they are able to see eye to eye and incorporate and see the bigger picture of Ghana football coming back to normalcy, then uh, we will have to bring uh, the normalization committee back to meet generally the clubs and the, the normalization committee as well as other other stakeholders so that all of them will uh, come together then now honorable alexa jacum added that the normalization committee members gave them an idea of how far they have advanced in the work of restructuring ghana football the answer that they gave us that they've gone far they've been able to form the various subcommittees that is the safe subcommittees and by the end of this week specifically they said either tomorrow or thursday they are submitting their report to them. The report from the various subcommittees will now be incorporated into the overall recommendation by the Normalization Committee. Onward transmission to FIFA and then back to Congress for final approval. That is the, 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 the roadmap. We asked about the timeline. We have virtually 40 days to the end of March mm -hmm. where the, their mandate comes to an end. And they said that, yes, they will be able to deliver. Now, we have to talk about uh, another interesting story because black maiden skipper Mukaram Abdullahi is delighted after taking delivery of her FIFA Adidas golden boot and bronze ball she won last year or at last year's FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup in Uruguay. Abdullahi emerged top scorer of the competition with seven goals in four matches and also collected the Adidas bronze ball behind Spain's Claudia Pina and Nicole Perez of Mexico. With Ghana's elimination from the quarterfinal stage, FIFA had to send the awards to Ghana or to the Ghana FA to be handed over to the player. Mukarama Hopes the award will encourage her to do more. Yeah, this award means a lot to me because it's going to be something that will encourage me every time I, I look at them, and it's going to be something I can use to encourage young ones who are coming up so that they can work hard to also go and get something more than this. I just have to say um, to my colleague footballers, women in Ghana, that we should work hard and always make sure that we cope up with everything that is coming on our way and at the end of the day everything will go on well with us. So thank you very much for joining us last night on the European Night on Joy 99.7 FM. Our game for you was Liverpool up against Bayern Munich and there were no goals in that first leg round 16 game at Anfield. The BBC's Ian Dennis was there and watched. Well, it certainly wasn't one of those great spine-tingling European nights that we've experienced at Anfield in the past. Goalless, chances at a premium. There was a nervousness at times about Liverpool at the back in the first half. They, they lacked... Uh, creativity they struggle to create serious openings but um, nil nil uh, a disappointing spectacle overall but when you look at the tie in the wider picture when the disappointment of this game subsides might not be the worst result in the world for Liverpool we can now hear from Liverpool boss Jurgen Klopp in the uh, first half he still had a chance or so if Sadio 
hits the ball a bit better than he strikes twice with a bicycle kick, which is obviously pretty rare. And that, how it always is, um, a, a goal would have changed the game. Yeah, so, so it was like it was. And um, our problem tonight was one hand side, of course, the quality of the opponent. On the other hand side, that, we, that our last pass was not our friend tonight. Uh, we had. Um, situations where everything was prepared, everything was on the plate and then we played a very average last pass or gave it away that um, caused, us, caused us two problems. So, but how it is in situations like that? Um well, wasteful Barcelona could not convert any of their 25 shots in a goal of Champions League. Last 16 first leg draw against Lyon. Usually, so, you know, proficient in front of goal. Barcelona's Lionel Messi, Luis Suarez and Felipe Coutinho were all denied by Lyon goalkeeper Anthony Loops. So, we can now hear from Steve Crossman, who was in France to watch the game and says Lyon have a good chance in the second leg of the Camp Nou. There's nothing wrong with a nil-nil draw at home in the Champions League. Leon, I think, will be delighted with the result. And they are well in the tie ahead of the second leg. And actually, they could easily have won the game. You know, they had the game's outstanding moment, which was a shot from Terrier, the midfielder, which was brilliantly tipped onto the bar by Marc-Andre Ter Stegen. At the other end, I can only think of one example where Anthony Lopez, the Leon goalkeeper, made a save that had the ball gone in, he would have been anything other than totally devastated with himself. And that was the last minute of the game, and it was Busquets with a shot from the edge of the area. A man who hasn't scored in about 85 matches. Barcelona were just completely flat. And you look at Leon missing Nabil Fakir, their creative spark. Barcelona weren't missing a key name who creates chances. So I think Leon have got a great chance in the second leg now. And more to come tonight on European Nights on Joy 99.7 FM. Our featured game is Thomas Partey's Atletico Madrid uh, as they play Cristiano Ronaldo's Juventus. So Atletico up against Juventus. Remember, uh, forward Paulo Dybala will start Juventus Champions League last 16 tie. First leg at Atletico Madrid. That's my questions over whether he can play alongside Cristiano Ronaldo. Big game. Remember, hashtag is Joy UCL and our build up is a 7.45. Also tonight, Manchester City take on German side Schalke 04 and ahead of that Pep Guardiola says Manchester City have many dreams in their heads ahead of this Champions League game. This competition is is special. The teams are good and uh, atmosphere in the stadiums. You have to control your emotions. You have to suffer the bad moments. You know you have to survive the, the, these bad moments. But we are confident. We arrive in a in. With, uh, with many dreams in our heads, you know, to do a good competition. Wow, wow. So we look forward to having you on uh, Joy 99.7 FM at 7.45. And that's a big one as well for those of you who are still eyeing an opportunity to go to Anfield. You know, yes, you have to be swiping your debit and credit cards. That's a big one there. But Standard Chartered Bank Ghana Limited has launched the Standard Chartered Trophy 2019 tournament. Now, the ESC Trophy is an international five-a-side football tournament hinged on the bank's Liverpool FC sponsorship and an opportunity for Standard Chartered to reinforce its partnership with five-time European champions. Nasir Duadai is head coach corporate affairs brand and marketing at Standard Chartered Bank and has been telling me more about this year's competition. The SE Trophy is back, bigger and better than we've always had. As usual, we'll be inviting our clients to participate in a five-a-side football tournament on 9th of March at the Lizzie Sports Complex, and it promises to be fun. The winner of that tournament goes to Anfield to represent Ghana at the SC Trophy 2019 um, event in Anfield. This is going to be exciting, George. We have Phil Bab who will be coming in, um, joining the teams on the 9th. He'll be offering tips. He would also run a soccer clinic on the 9th and have engaged with our staff okay so good one there good morning to the entire standard chatter team out there um albert is someone you know you've got some job to do you got to deliver you know how we do it man <laughs> <laughs> these coded messages that are yeah, going on yeah, you, yeah, you gotta deliver man but the rest of us we don't know <laughs> no it's got an s job anyway um <laughs> <laughs> okay george <laughs> Uh, papaya and the papaya and Nimua Nimua here. producer in Nimua here. Yeah, so okay. You know um, so, George, that's it for the sports center. Uh, it means that time is up. Before we go. <laughs> A big big shout out, a big shout out to you. Big or big? A big big big. Big shout big out. biggest. Uh, to Mrs. Sophia. 